What's up guys, this is the Taking Independence uh, Minutemen quest in Fallout 4, and this is at the end where you have to fight the Myralert Queen. And I highly recommend not doing what I did there, and not doing what I did here. Um, the Myralert Queen will pretty much instantly kill you if you're low level like myself. So I do, however, recommend uh, being in the power armor. So get in your power armor suit, make a save before the Myralert Queen arrives, after you destroy some of the eggs. Um, you're going to have to destroy a lot of Myralert hatchlings and uh, Myralert uh, enemies. So I highly recommend making a save, um, even in this room. And this is where you get the flamethrower. All right, during this uh, taking independence quest at the castle, you can also go in this room here and there's a rocket launcher sitting on the table. However, there are some soft shell Myra Lurks um, in here and more Myra Lurk hatchings. They're actually pretty annoying and difficult to kill at a low level, even on such a low difficulty uh, setting as normal. I still have a hard time in this game, uh, but we're trying to get through it as best as we can. So go ahead and kill all of the Myra Lurks in here uh, and go ahead and make a save even and pick up the rocket launcher with the missiles. Now what's funny is uh, during this quest Preston Garvey actually died and I was able to pick up his outfit however he did revive towards the end so I will show you guys that. I actually spent about an hour on this boss fight maybe two. So I've cut it to as best possible as I can to show you guys so you're not sitting through um, listening to me talk for a couple of hours. So this is outside of the castle. Go ahead and proceed outside of the castle during uh, either before or after you're fighting the Myra Lurk Queen. And there's going to be a first aid pack with some stim packs and there's going to be some mines and I believe some grenades. Now come back to where you made that save where you picked up that rocket launcher and come to this doorway. And go ahead and shoot a couple of rocket launchers uh, missiles out at the Myra Lurk Queen. This is actually a pretty good method because if you're close range and you're low level, she's going to pretty much kill you. Um, or she's going to shoot, I believe that's acid at you, and that's pretty much going to insta-kill you uh, also. And I also highly recommend spending your um, skill points in uh, strength and uh, intelligence and uh, in lockpicking, uh, hacking terminals, which I will be covering um, hopefully shortly. <laughs> you just got to find 50 of them. Uh, so, if she hits you, if she hits you, alright, we died right there, but luckily since we re we saved back here, we reloaded save, um, or it automatically brought us back to this point, and for some reason, her health wasn't the same as it was before. So I believe her health keeps going down and down and down, even though you die a lot, and it automatically reloads your last save for you. So, um, just go ahead and sit in this doorway again and shoot rocket launchers at her. Again, if you push out there and attack her, she's going to pretty much annihilate you. And it's not going to be very fun if you're trying to get through this quest and see what awesome loot she has. And actually, she doesn't really have too awesome loot, but um, she has some decent uh, stuff to heal your character. So... Now that we've pretty much uh, almost dealt with her, her health, a lot of her health is down. Oh yeah, and if you get hit by her acid, uh, alright, uh, take a stim pack immediately, alright? Make sure you favorite it, or again, you're just gonna be dead. <laughs> She's actually not as easy as it looks. So, we're gonna actually throw a couple of grenades at her because we don't want to use all of our flamethrower ammo and our our last rocket launcher and we actually killed her so pretty much an easy way to kill her at a low level how to do it is um, how to defeat the Myra Lurk Queen uh, as a low level <laughs> Have a rocket launcher, have a flamethrower, which are both pretty much located here, and have a couple of grenades, possibly even some mines. So again, Preston Garvey uh, died, and then he came back alive when we reloaded our checkpoint, which um, was 
that's what that was back there. Uh, we saved after we defeated the Myra Alert Queen. And then uh, here we go, you know, Preston Garvey still alive. Um, but we were able to get his outfit. Um, so the last part of this mission, after you finish off destroying the rest of the eggs, you're going to have to install a generator um, and some electricity to power this radio transmitter, um, which requires a lot of supplies, a large generator. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next Fallout 4 video.